Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is all about you, Taurus. That's right. This is April 2020, Taurus. What is coming in for you? There's three piles here. Pile number one is represented by a piece of jade, green jade. Pile number two is represented by a piece of pyrite. And pile number three is represented by a tiger's eye. So go ahead and choose the pile that resonates with you, my lovely taurines. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take a moment to do the whole like, comment, subscribe, bell icon thing. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and taking time out of your day to spend it with me. Let's go ahead and get started. If you need a little bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. Again, pile number one, two, and three. And we're starting with you, pile number one. You chose the jade, green jade, and we have two sets here. We have love and relationships and career and finance. And I'm going to start with career and finance. The page of Athamaze either has you keeping an eye on a job offering or a job posting, or maybe a headhunter is going to be contacting you. Or someone's keeping an eye on you at work. Maybe you're going through an evaluation period. The witch or magician says that you're manifesting something. Okay. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. That's nice. The Queen of Pentacles is, is like solid financial. This is like having enough money. Okay. So that that's a good thing to manifest. And you're doing that by cutting out... The things that don't work for you. Cutting out excess spending. Tightening the belt, looks like. Yeah, you're recognizing what you need and what you don't need. And the things you love to do versus the things you have to do. Um, so I'm seeing a couple of different things. One is, like I just said... Um, you're kind of trying to manifest money by cutting out things in your life budget-wise to make things work a little bit better for you. Um, and you're kind of recognizing the difference between what you need and what you love. And that's really good. That shows a lot of growth. And when you're able to budget effectively, you're going to get money. You're going to gain financially because you're finding that money through losing other things that you may or may not want as opposed to need. Um, the other option that I see here is, like I said, either you're keeping your eye on a job or a headhunter or another job is keeping their eye on you and you're manifesting a good, solid financial future for yourself. By sort of cutting through the bullshit and recognizing what you want for yourself, where you want to be, what kind of job you want to have. Are you at the right place? I don't know. Only you can say that. But if you're looking at other jobs, and if other jobs are looking at you, maybe you're not in the right place. And what does it hurt to listen to what these people have? If it is a headhunter, what does it hurt to listen to what they have to say? Unless, of course, they're an actual headhunter, in which case, um, run. Um, but if they're a job headhunter, you know, listening to them may bring you a type of work that brings you happiness, but you're manifesting something really good in your life. So, um, you know, cut the bullshit, try to stay authentic, try to stay honest, and you're going to get recognized and you're going to, you know, you, you'll know the job, the perfect job for you. As soon as you go ahead and you see that one ad, it'll just click for you. And um, that's what I have for you in career and finance for April 2020. If you don't have a job, hold on one second. If you don't have a job, you're looking for a job right now, and you are going to manifest one, a solid one. Um, when you find this job, you'll know immediately. You'll recognize it, that it's the perfect job for you. When you go in there, be honest. Be smart. Go in there with a bunch of questions for them about their business. Um, 
that way, if they have, you know, do, do some research that way, if they have any questions for you, you're going to be a better candidate because you're going to be able to answer those questions. Whereas the next person may not because they didn't bother to look them up and do the research. So that is what I have for you in career and finance pile number one for April of 2020. You gorgeous Torians. Let's go ahead and check your love and relationships. We have the Page of Wands. This is a younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone who is really exciting, charming, um, fun. And they're offering you a passionate new beginning. I love that. You're standing on your own independently, which is really nice. That's a good way to go into a relationship. You know, codependent relationships usually wind up being toxic. If you can go into a relationship standing strong on your own, then you guys will always stand strong together. We have justice here. Justice is uh, the card of Libra. Your ships are coming in. Because you put the work in. All right, um, so what I have here for love and relationships for April of 2020 is that there is someone that is kind of exciting to you, someone that you kind of want a new passionate start with. You guys are both a little bit independent, which is really good. This is a good balanced relationship. The cards are saying your ships are coming in and it's safe to put the work in because they feel the same about you. This is balanced. Is it your soulmate? I don't see anything here saying it's really your soulmate, but what I do see is that it is a fair and balanced relationship where you both can stand on your own independently and you both have a lot of fun together. So the other possibility here is that you may be dating someone that doesn't live in the same country you do or in the same state you do or in the same city you do. And like the internet is your primary um, source of, of connection. Um, they're really exciting. You want a new beginning with them, but you're both independent for a reason. This relationship is really good. It is really fair. It is really balanced. And you guys will get to be together in person one day. And so you're just kind of waiting for that to happen right now. A uh, third possibility is you're kind of standing independent and strong and you're kind of okay with just being on your own and then this person comes in and they're really exciting and charismatic and just passionate and they kind of pull you over and sweep you off your feet. But, you know, they're also very fair and balanced within the relationship and this is something that you deserve because you have, you do put work into your relationships and um, this one is, is going to pay off for you. And uh, that's what I have for you for pile number one, my beautiful Taurians for April of 2020. I hope that April treats you as well as you treat everybody around you, Taurus. Um, you guys are the hardest working of the zodiac signs. And um, yeah, you, you deserve a lot of love for yourselves as well. And um, I hope April 2020 brings that for you. Bye. All right. Tarian pile number two. You beautiful pyrite people. We have two sets of cards here. We have love and relationships and career and finances. We're going to go ahead and get started with career and finances. We have you setting a burden down with the Ten of Wands. Putting an end to something. The Two of Swords says you're making a decision about something that you've been kind of putting off. That's this burden that you're putting down. You're finally making a choice. And we have Victory. Five of Athames telling you, Five of Swords telling you you're making the right choice. We have Justice coming in to say that this is indeed the right choice. This is where you're supposed to be. We have a new offer coming in, one that you're going to love and be happy about. And the High Priestess is telling you to trust your intuition during this time. 
So what do we have for you in career and finances for April of 2020, pile number two? Um, we have you putting down a burden. Some You've been having to make a choice about something and it's stressing you out. It could be something as simple as um, what kind of reverse osmosis system you're putting in your house or um, what kind of car you're going to get, what kind of computer you're going to get. Whatever this is, you're going to make this choice. And this choice that you make is victorious. We have justice here saying it's going to be good. Everything's going to be fine. And then you have a new offer coming in, um, one that you're going to love. So trust your intuition. Victory is assured. Justice is yours. You're putting down this burden and you're making this choice. And this is beautiful. Pile number two. Um, yeah, it's like... Once you make this choice, this burden is relieved, you're kind of victorious, and this new offer is able to come in for you. Now, this could be a new job offer. This could be money coming in your way. I don't see it as money, though, because this is a career in finance reading. If it was the Ace of Pentacles, I would see it as money coming in your way. But being the Ace of Cups, I see this as a job or a project that you are just absolutely going to love. And it's fair because you deserve it because you've been through it. You, you know, you put the work in, you've carried the burden and um, you've made the choice to be victorious and you will be. And that is what I have for you in career and finances, April. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Um, if you're looking for a job, you're trying to make a decision about where to go and what to do. And um, in April, you kind of put this burden down by making that choice and just jumping into it. Um, maybe this is a, a job you didn't think or other people around you don't think that you'd be able to get. But like you're perfect for it and they see that you're perfect for it and it surprises you, but you're happy. So trust your intuition and listen to what your gut has to tell you. Don't follow the little, you know, naysayer in the back of your mind going, oh, I don't think you could ever do that. Listen to your gut that says, oh, I like that job. That sounds perfect for me because you're going to get it. You're going to show them something different from what they're used to and you're going to wind up getting. So that is what I have for you in career and finances, pile number one. Let's take a look, or pile number two, let's take a look at love and relationships. We have the Eight of Pentacles showing you putting work into this relationship that you're in. We have the Emperor telling you that you're taking control of the situation. The Two of Pentacles saying that you're balancing things in your life or working to balance things in your life. The Queen of Cups saying you've got a loving relationship. The lover's card saying this may be your twin flame or soulmate. We've got the lemon skate here. The queen of cups, the lover's card, and the six of wands. Okay. So here are the possibilities that I see in your love and relationships. Pile number two. My lovely Taurians. Those of you who are in a relationship already... You've been putting a lot of work in and you've sort of taken control of this relationship or at least your part in it to make sure that it is fair and balanced, that it is a loving relationship that nurtures each other and is like beautiful and you recognize it and they recognize it and they also put the work in and take control to keep it balanced and beautiful. Um, for those of you not in a relationship, You've been going out on a lot of dates, so that's you putting the work in. And you finally meet somebody that kind of captures your interest. And you're sort of not sure about them, but you go on this date anyway and you just have a great time. It's a lot of fun and you recognize that there's someone you can really connect with. The other possibility here is there is someone from work that you're considering dating. It could be your boss. Don't do that. <laughs> dating the boss is usually always a bad idea. Um, 
Sure, there's that 0.0001% where it works out fairy tale wise. But for the most part, when you date your boss, a lot of things that happen wind up being like you get fired. Um, but I'm not seeing that for everybody. Uh, some of you are, you want to date your boss. You've got work here. You've got the, the emperor. You're attracted to your boss. You see them as an equal. They see you as an equal. It's a loving relationship and you kind of recognize each other. But, um, you know, even though the cards don't say it, just be careful. Dating your boss is a very, very bad idea. Uh, for others, this could be someone just that you work with and you're just taking control of the situation and asking them out on a date, trying to keep things balanced in a loving way. And it just goes really, really well. Um, for those unattached and not looking, your work is your love. And you've kind of taken control of your life to keep it nice and balanced. You're happy with who you are and where you are, and life is good for you, and you recognize that. And that is what I have for you for April of 2020, my beautiful Taurians. I hope that April brings you everything you deserve. Um, I hope you get the recognition and acknowledgement and love and everything that you deserve, because you guys are amazing. You work so hard. And um, you're so insightful. You're very good at rooting out the truth of the matter. And I really appreciate you guys. So thank you very much for spending time with me, Taurus. Bye. Pile number three. My beautiful tiger eye, Taurians. Let's go ahead and get started. We have two sets of cards. We have love and relationships and career and finance. And we're going to go ahead and get started in career and finance. Well, you're starting out with the Ten of Pentacles, which is like financial success, uh, the happy family card. So you're starting out really good here um, in April of tw uh, 2020, Taurus pile number three. You're solid, dependable. You got a good job or the prospect of a good job. You can see we got the hawk there, so it could be you're, you're seeing a good job coming in. And then we've got the Wild Hunt, which is the Tower card, bringing in some massive change. We have the Five of Chalices, which shows you really, really sad, mourning, a loss. The Wheel of Fortune chain is start saying things are changing in your favor. Have faith. Okay. So, okay, what I'm seeing for you, pile number two, is you already have a job. And it's, uh, you had a job, and it was solid, and it was dependable, and it paid the bills. But it ended. And you're kind of sad right now and not sure where to go and what to do. And the cards are telling you to have faith. Things are going to start moving in your favor again. The Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor because you are someone who is solid and dependable. So you will find the perfect job with just a little bit of work. Um, so this thing that happened, um, I'm not sure why it happened to you, but it's not going to be like this forever. You Things start changing in your favor. So ha have a little bit of faith. Don't get so stuck in the sad part of it all. Um, I know how difficult it can be to lose a job, especially if it's something that you absolutely love and adore. Um, it could totally shatter you. The cards are telling you, don't let it shatter you. Things are going to turn in your favor. Have faith. Um, for, you know, I'm going to tell you a, 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 a story of me, mine. When we say have faith, that things are turning in your favor and you've got something that's really bad that's happened in your life, sometimes it's hard to see where the good can happen. Um, and this is a story I've told before on this channel. I, in, in 2014, I was attacked by a St. Bernard that we had adopted. He was an older dog and um, he had PTSD, but they never told us that. And I triggered him, and he tried to kill me. 
And um, when I had to go to the doctor to have them look at the wounds, there was <laughs> quite a lot. They, um, my doctor wasn't in town. And I had a an illness that went undiagnosed that they thought was fibromyalgia at first and then nobody was sure what it was and I was just getting sicker and sicker and because my doctor was not in town when I was attacked by this dog I had to go to another doctor so I found a doctor closer to my house that wound up solving my mystery illness so the bad thing that happened was I was attacked by my dog that I loved and cared for. But the good thing that came out of it was I got a diagnosis for my illness and I got put on medication that really, like, literally saved my life and turned it completely around. So sometimes bad things happen and it's hard to see the good, but there can be good to be found in those bad things. A lot of times you just won't see it until later on down the road. Um, so that's my own personal experience. Mileage may vary. Um, that's your um, career and finance reading, pile number three. Let's go ahead and look at love and relationships. The Four of Pentacles has you holding on to something or someone. The Seven of Wands has you feeling a little bit wounded, a little guarded. Oof. The Three of Swords says you're holding on to someone that broke your heart. Someone who hurt you really bad. But don't worry, because there's someone coming in. The Knight of Swords is a what we what I like to call the White Knight. They're the ones that always sort of stand up for other people. They, you know, take care of things. They help others. They're like the first one on the scene to make sure that everybody's okay. Um, so someone's coming in to to save you. File number three, and they're offering you a solid new beginning. But you kind of have to go inside yourself to decide if that's what you want. Um, or this person could be a Virgo. What I'm seeing for you, pile number three in love and relationships, is you've been holding on to some pain from your past and keeping it, and, and it's been keeping you from letting someone in. But I believe you eventually let go of that. Because this person comes in and you offer them a solid new beginning. And you kind of go back inside of yourself to look at what you can let go of. And how you can move on and heal from this. And it's really beautiful. Your other possibility is that you and your significant other are fighting about money and it's kind of got you down. And if that's the case, they're saying maybe... Try a different tactic. Take a little break from the money and start a solid new beginning without money, but just like talking to them as a friend, hanging out, watching some TV together, watching something that you guys can talk and joke and have fun with. Because um, once you're able to like sort of see the wisdom in the situation, find the solution, find the way to, to start anew, to start afresh in a solid way, then you're going to be okay. And that is what I have for you, my beautiful pile number three Tureans. I want to thank you for spending time with me. And I'm so sorry that someone hurt you like that. I hope that your next romance brings you nothing but beauty and joy and hope and love. And I want to thank you for spending time out of your day with me. And I want to thank you for making the world a better place. Because Tureans tend to be the ones that are the helpers, that are out there, you know, doing the hard work so that the other signs can live a little bit happier. So thank you for all you do, Taurus. Uh, bye. For those of you sticking around wondering about the cards, the cards I used for the love and relationship readings are the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore and Allie Fell.
And the cards that I use for the career and finance readings are the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Mora and Kitty Estegard Leonard. Thank you very much again for spending time with me, and I hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye!